The Kalahari Bushmen have been wandering South Africa's deserts for over 100,000 years, carrying with them the potential to change the course of modern medical research. Genetically speaking, the Bushmen are very different. Dr Vanessa Hayes from UNSW, in collaboration with Dr Stefan Schuster of Pennsylvania State University, chose four Bushmen and a very well-known Bantu, the Reverend Desmond Tutu, to be the first non-European subjects to have their genome sequenced. <laughs> and what was discovered was profound. Bushmen from different linguistic groups are as different from each other as, say, a European is from an Asian. And that was what we didn't know before. This was the most varied DNA ever sequenced, with over 1.3 million new DNA variations, a major discovery. Our research in the past has been very European-centric. It's been based around what the European DNA has to offer, which has been extremely limited in comparison to the rest of the world. Up until this point, indigenous people had not been included. And really, I think the basis for that is, is a money factor. You've got to understand that the Human Genome Project was a hugely expensive project. We're talking around $2.7 billion, um, approximately 13 years to complete, uh, hundreds and hundreds of people involved. So it was a huge, huge undertaking, um, very costly, very time consuming, and they had to start somewhere. And um, so it was started with, with European individuals. Oh, now that the technology is changing and the cost of doing this type of work is coming down, the, it just has to change. We now have an obligation as a community, as a scientific community, to include all indigenous people in DNA databases. Genetic variation is a product of time. European and Asian DNA has had 40,000 years to develop, while the Bushmen have had twice that long to adopt genetic advantages. One of the uh, most known adaptations of the Bushmen is that they can survive, say, seven days at a time without taking in water. It's a biological adaptation which has occurred. They have the ability to store water. This is obviously, now that we have the genetic, for the first time, the whole genome of a Bushman individual, we can start actually studying the genetic basis to these adaptations. It's in medical research that new DNA variations will be most useful. A whole new insight into disease resistance will ultimately produce better drugs for complex diseases like cancer that allow for genetic variation between ethnic groups. Well, I kind of like to refer it to um, like a book. And in the past, we had a great big thick encyclopedia, and that was based on a European genome. And we've been using that encyclopedia very successfully to look at diseases. But it's been limited because we've only had that book to work from. What we hope that our study now offers is it opens the door to the entire library. And it provides not only just one encyclopedia, but a library worth of books for one to look at and to understand disease. And more and more doors will be opened as more and more individuals from indigenous populations get included into this big library.